and this is pretty much how you start a day in a halo jump. <laughs> well, the orange have brought to me 16 hours sleep, a swimming pool, with the best view you've ever seen in your entire life. Marco! <laughs> that is a seriously cool bridge. That there is where the walkway is. The end has no walkway and the start has no walkway. So basically, we're not getting on that without some kind of equipment. I want to go as far as we can. There are just little bits of random walkway just scattered around the mountain. That there used to be up there. The reason we can't actually go further than here is one, I'm holding a camcorder, and two, those clips there. We can't get over those parts. I wet it and then dried it on a a windy cliff top. I'm going for that wet look, as in, it's actual wet. We're the better looking ones. Absolute standard. Yeah. I mean, look at us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna come back out, um, A357 here, turn a right, go up here, veer off left until we get to this road, the A367, and it should be straight road into Ronda. Look at that view. We came here to find a bridge and we have found the bridge and it is epically mental. That is a long way down. Imagine being James Bond in that balcony. Just imagine that was your ha that was your, your <laughs> house. <laughs> Good morning world. I'm literally on the bridge. This bridge is just amazing. I'm gonna try and attempt to get some perspective on this thing. Right down there, if I zoom in, that's a traffic cone. I zoom out again, it's crazy. I would love to just be swimming down that and just flying off that water waterfall into there below. I'm aware it's going onto rocks. However, look how good it looks. I'm constantly worried that those three are just going to jump off everything. Your full swing has to be absolutely sure on everything. We're climbing up some steep steps, so we might be a bit out of breath as we take. <laughs> it's not but like we're unfit or anything. <laughs> no, it's just... I mean, I, I go to the gym every day, I don't know what you like. <laughs> about you, Danny. I, I'm totally all over the gym. This is one of those places, there's a lot of places around the world where you can just get a camera, you point it at anything, and it's amazing. Yeah, this totally. is that. On the other side of the most epic bridge I've ever seen in my life, this is that 100% a symbol leaving some kind of treasure around here. That yeah, there yeah. would definitely never be allowed on the plane. Oh, oh, those look so cool. The right here. Yeah. With the right key, you slot it in there, you turn it 90 degrees clockwise, and this whole thing will just lower. The water will all drain out, and there will be a hidden room underneath. Coming to the end of day two at the Halo Jump and everything's gone swimmingly so far. It's been good, it's been enjoyable. We're just gonna go find a cave to sleep in and then probably have to settle down for bed because there's nothing you can do. We can't even play soap here because there's no light. You can't film anything, it's too dark to film anything. Or your choices are to wait till it's dark before you get to the cliff, which is a bad idea. I haven't done the King's Walkway yet apart from a little bit that I did earlier. Maybe tomorrow I'll go a bit further. Maybe tomorrow something will happen and I'll get to do it. The quest continues. Demon thing, dogs. Yeah, demon dogs are the only thing that make footprints in the stone. And uh, I'm pretty certain that's a three-legged one or you've just got one-legged one, which is its friend. This looks like a normal water attack. If you someone's sitting there and someone's sitting there and you hit that, this whole thing just moves back and it leads to an underground cavern. Underground, under the water, up there. We just need to unlock this. And I don't know how. Because I can sit here, and Liam can sit there, but we can't reach the tap. <laughs> Coffee in weird tumblers. How do you feel about this? They've done it again. 